Hello, welcome to John's Box, my YouTube channel. My name's John and I'm going to look at the Borough of Swindon election 2024 at uh, the statistics such as the vote share from previous years and finally to analyse Thursday's election results. So looking at the total votes in Swindon, in all Swindon wards for 2024, there was no real change in the percentage share. I'll just uh, hold this uh, close up. With there actually being a slight swing from Labour and Conservatives to the Lib Dems and other smaller parties. I'll just put that here. Or maybe I'll pin it up. Wait, there we go. If you can see that. If not, stop the video. Um. First of all, the turnout was uh, just below 32% compared to just below 36% for the previous year. So that's a fall of almost 4%. Well, it seems that people are a bit fed up of uh, politics and that's the same uh, as far as the national picture is concerned. Although this year's election turned out to be a success for Labour, with the party up 9 seats on last year, winning 14 of the 20 seats up for grabs, the Conservatives did better than expected, winning 6 seats, compared to only 2 last year. Let's now look at the list of wards and the changes compared to 2021, the last time the same councillors contested these seats. If I can find it... Um, my predictions, uh, if you watched the previous videos, my predictions are out. I underestimated <clears throat> uh, the Conservative result uh, being a bit uh, too pes pessimistic as far as they're concerned. Um, well, as you can see, here we have the seats held by the Conservatives in 2021 and these these are the ones now which were gained by Labour, as you can see, and held by the Conservatives. Again, if you want to freeze the video, please do so. Um, you'll find the actual results on the Borough of Swindon website, um, or on the Evening Advertiser or Wikipedia, if you put in uh, Borough of Swindon 2024 local election results. Uh, let's now look at the makeup of the council. So Labour now have a majority of 25. Um, the, the number of councillors have gone up to 41. The Conservatives have 15. And the Lib Dems remain on just the one. So Labour are fully in control of the council. So in summary, the general election should be held by the end of the year. It's probable in the autumn. Um, on the face of these results, Labour should gain both North and South Swindon seats, or rather Swindon North and Swindon South, as they will be known. But it won't be easy to oust Sir Robert Buckland, who has held high government office and has worked very hard locally, nor Justin Tomlinson in Swindon North with his 16,000 majority. It'll be a fierce fight, needless to say. If uh, Labour keep up uh, the momentum uh, nationally, um, they should be able to pick up both those seats. But again, it will be a fierce battle. The next local elections are to be held in 2026, following the decision last October for councillors to contest their seats once every four years. Um, it looks unlikely for Labour to lose control of the council with its impressive majority. That is unless the Labour government, which should be governing by then, make a hash of things. Who knows what will be by then? As I always say, a week is a long time in politics. Um, looking at the national picture, um, it's just gone 8pm, uh, so 
just allow me, I'll just have a look to see how things are going nationally. So of the 99, uh, so of the 99 of the 107 councils declared so far, Labour has uh, 1,019 councillors, that's 169 up. The Lib Dems ahead of the Conservatives up 90 on 474. Conservatives on 460, down 430. Independents on 219, up 88. The Greens on 159, up 66. Uh, Residents Associations on 47, up 11. And I do believe that uh, Reform UK and I think some kind of Socialist League, League have gained uh, one or two council seats. Yeah, actually... The Workers' Party of Britain have four councillors, uh, Reform UK have two. That means that Labour are on uh, in control of 48 councils, Lib Dem is on 11, up one. By the, by the way, Labour are up eight councils, the Conservatives are on five, down.